welcome to the Grand Estino Tower. This is going to be our home for the next night and tomorrow. I love these lantern walls here. So this is one of the lobbies we talked about last weekend. Welcome. Good morning. <laughs> we are here at Coronado Springs Grand Destino Tower and super excited. Neither one of us have ever stayed here. And we did mobile check-ins. We don't even need to stop at the front desk. We're gonna head right up to our room. I'm excited. Look at these views. The lobby of the Grand Destino Tower is just gorgeous. It's beautiful. And this is technically a moderate level resort and it looks like a deluxe. This is beyond gorgeous. And for people like us without kids, I feel like it has much more of an adulty vibe than some of the other Disney hotels. Definitely. So this uh, property is absolutely gigantic. And we have the fun elevators. So the buttons on the elevator are outside the elevator. Oh, that's right. Are, yeah, look, there's no buttons inside. So you pick where you're going first. That is so cool. Elevator B. All right, so here's our room tour. We just checked in. There's our door unlock that you can use your cell phone or magic band for. Welcome, welcome to our home for the next 24 hours. So we are staying at the Coronado Springs Resort, Grand Destino Tower. This is their newer section of the resort. And we have a Queen room, so we have two queen beds, and we opted for a lagoon view. So wait until you see the view. But I think when you walk in, this is a nice large entranceway, nice and wide. Plenty of room to store luggage and bags over here. Love this. I'm a fan of the barn door. This is so nice. So sliding barn door into the bathroom. And then you have the commode over here, and this is a pocket door too, so this does slide shut. So if someone's using the bathroom, someone else can be getting ready or showering. Love that there's two sinks in this. Oh yeah, must, must point this stuff out. Huge fan of the Disney H2O line. And for anybody that stays here, if you really like this, you can buy these down in the gift shop. Yes. We have some of the sea salt body lotion at home. And then look at the shower. I just feel like everything here is so nice and modern and it smells so clean, which especially now with COVID and everything, and really always, it's nice to know that the hotel room is clean and you can smell just the cleaner and it smells awesome. Love this. We even uh, have the bottles of the H2O as well. Yeah. I love this yep. stuff. So these, you can't take them with you, unfortunately, but like we said, you can purchase them in the gift shop. They have the Sea Salt Body Wash, Sea Marine Revitalizing Conditioner, and the Sea Marine Revitalizing Shampoo. I love this stuff. Can't wait to shower <laughs> later on. And then you have the shower heads. You have one of the rain shower heads as well as a handheld. And I like these drains too. Oh, yeah. And look at the tile work. This is so nice. I keep saying it over and over, but I can't believe this is a moderate resort. For a moderate is, Disney resort, this is really, really yeah. nice. And this is how you turn it on right okay, here. Okay, let's not while well, I'm still standing here. <laughs> <laughs> so moving on from the bathroom, we have this nice wardrobe here. Full size mirror and then extra pillow and blanket up top. They have a steam iron, ironing board, plenty of hangers, luggage rack, and safe. And with the way that I packed for our one night stay, I might take advantage of some of the space in the wardrobe. You would think that I was going away for a week, but you never know what you're gonna need. And then we have another little place for luggage here. Also, this is huge, I feel like, for a Disney resort, which some of the resort rooms 
are a little bit on the smaller side. This is a great size. Our little this Mickey on the bed, awesome touch. Great, great, great feature. And I love that it has the wood flooring versus the carpet. I hate carpet in a hotel room. I've always been a bit of a germaphobe, so this to me just looks and feels cleaner and it's easier to clean, so I love having this kind of flooring versus carpet in the hotel room. Tons of space over here. Little desk if you need to work on vacation. Ah. Keurig, <laughs> staple, definitely a staple for our mornings. Matt's a coffee drinker and loves Joffrey's, so they have the Joffrey's French Roast coffee pods here. I am not a coffee drinker, but I drink a ton of tea, so I'm very pleasantly surprised to see the English breakfast tea because most of the time in hotels, there's coffee, but <laughs> not always tea. And then right up here, you have the ice bucket, more shelving for storage. So also have to mention, we have a refrigerator. And right now it's August. The feels like temperature when we came in today was 106 degrees. Yes. So we brought a few waters. <laughs> so great that we have a fridge. I'm gonna stick our waters in right now. Keep in mind, it was 106 and it wasn't even quite noon yet. Just yeah. <laughs> let that sink in a minute. It's a toasty day. <laughs> yes. Another awesome touch. I loved coming into this. Welcome Schroeder family. Nice chair over here. They have a lot of outlets too. So I see two USB outlets here, the regular outlets, and then yes. over on our bed stand too, there's two regular outlets and another two USB outlets. I'm a fan of this. I love this light. I don't know why. I like that it's style. Very, it's very modern. Very, very cool. The beds look great. Mm -hmm. Even the detail on the lamp. I like this. Yeah. And yeah, two more Look USBs, two more plugs. Power supplies. And this, this is a lot of space too. Mm -hmm. With three drawers under here. And then I like that the beds, there's plenty of space if you have yeah. extra luggage, you can throw it under the bed. But then come see this. Okay, here we go. The grand reveal. <laughs> So we're on the fourth oh, floor. So I would imagine even higher, you have even greater views, but I love this. This is the view of the lagoon. So you have three bridges, bar and grill over there, connected by the three bridges. We'll be headed over there later for Sangria University, which will be another whole video. We're looking forward to that. But again, I cannot believe this is a moderate resort. The room is spectacular, nice and clean, great furnishings, and this view is amazing. I'm very happy. And they have one of, well, what I think is one <laughs> of the coolest pools yeah. on property, and we'll be headed it's... over there a little bit later yeah. on. And when we head over there, we'll take you along with us. Yeah, I'm excited to, to use one of the Disney pools. This is going to be kind of a first. And to try the water slide. Yeah. We brought the GoPro with us, so we'll be able to take you all down the water slide with us. Yeah. So hang with us. We'll be showing a lot of the resort throughout the weekend. So the one thing I, I really like about this resort is uh, my past profession, I was in architecture and then also interior design. So... I'm a big fan of the different time periods of architecture and the Spanish style of architecture is to me very beautiful. You have the tile roofs, you have all of the stone features and there's a lot of really, really unique colors that go with it. And to me, I kind of like the, the rounded style of construction. So as we walk around the resort, you'll see a lot of that. It's, um, a lot of themes to Spanish architecture here is absolutely beautiful. We just got back from Sangria University, which was incredible, and that will be its own separate video. But we stopped at the Mercado for lunch. This is a very late lunch. It's about 3.30, 4 o'clock right now, and we are starving. So I got the grab-and-go Philly cheesesteak, which looks awesome, great size, comes with waffle fries and peppers and onions on the side, which I'm not a huge onion fan, so I like that it does come on the side versus on the sandwich. 
And then what did you get? I got the Santa Fe chicken, which is a spicy chicken with some pepper jack cheese and some looks like a like a special sauce they had in there. I didn't exactly get to see what it was, but it's a spicy chicken, which I love, and then waffle fries as well. So this is going to soak up some of that sangria. <laughs> Should be good. Yeah, this was a great option. It was super easy. We just walked right into the Mercado on the way back mm -hmm. from Sangria University. It was already hot, ready to go, grab and go, and we're back in the hotel room. And one of our favorite traditions, this started when we were traveling from South Carolina to yep. Orlando <laughs> probably twice a month. We were here all the time before we moved oh, wow. here. One of our favorite traditions was dinner in bed. Usually Subway in bed because I love Subway sandwiches. So we would stop at the end of the day at Subway on the way back to the hotel from the parks, grab Subway and have Subway in bed. So we're having Mercado food in bed, yes. which is equally <laughs> as awesome. So super easy, not too expensive. They don't take the annual pass discount, but they do take DVC if you're a DVC member. Oh, Florida summertime. So the storms are finally over after about three, three hours. Three hours. It was a very stormy late afternoon, yeah. early evening. So it's about eight o'clock right now. So Headed over to the pool, hoping it's open. We're not sure if it is or yeah. not since it was so stormy. Right, and it would be open for about another two hours, so. So we're open. Keep our fingers crossed. Look at that. This is the one thing about summertime in Florida is after the storms pass, the sunsets are gorgeous. So this is our pool area. This is the Lost City of Cibola. And I... It was like 11, I think. Alright, 10 a.m. to 11. That's not oh, good. that's bad. No, they locked it up. <gasps> oh, crap. Shoot. So basically what happens sometimes... Oh, shoot. So right now the, the pool is closed. We had an extensive shutdown for the storms. And I know at times Disney, uh, depending on their lifeguard availability and how long they're closed, they may, they may reopen or they... Sometimes a, a actual Disney lifeguard told me this once that if it goes past a certain point Then they will just send everybody home and close everything down for the remainder of the night So we still have three hours. we're hoping that's not the case tonight. What the heck? I'm gonna go find out. All right. Perfect timing. We've been sitting over here by the pool for less than five minutes And they just got notification that the pool is able to reopen. It's so cool So it's set as a archaeological dig site mm -hmm. And we've been eyeing this pool for a very long time, so cannot wait to give this a try. Yeah, I'm excited to try out this water slide. So we'll have just under three hours. Of, yeah. I don't think we're going to be here for three hours, but we have just under three hours to play in the pool. And also, this is the main pool, but I didn't realize it until I was looking at the um, our Disney Channel on the TV. But there's three other swimming pools around this entire property, which is fascinating. Each one has a different name to it, depending on where it's located. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I not, think those are mostly quiet just, pools. Yeah, they're regular pools. This one is the big thrilling one with all the the theming. Yeah. That the rest of them are just kind of kind of relax and chill out places. So, and there's also yeah, right. what the largest hot tub on property. Yes. Here? Yes, so they have the largest hot tub on property. It fits 22 people. Not that I'd want to be in a hot tub with 22 people. Why not? Ugh. But yeah, I'm super excited that the weather has cleared. We're out by the pool going to have some fun. I feel like I can't complain that I'm cold right now. Since it was 106 degrees today. Yeah. Now it's warm. It feels good. We're doing the Jaguar slide. <laughs> <laughs> See how this turns out. Bye. Oh yeah.
<laughs> I like that. Late night run for some food. We had a great time in the pool, went back and showered. Now we're headed over to the Mercado and probably Panchitos. Yeah. Just, I'm not starving, but need, need more some. water and just a little snack oh. of some sort. A little something, something. Yeah. Oh, these chairs are cool too. I just <laughs> oh, those look comfy. Those look like they are modeled after the Barcelona chair. The Barcelona chairs. I'll show you. I actually uh, drew one and I had to draw one for architecture. So in the morning we can come down here, get yep. some breakfast. Just look at this real quick here. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I'm Look assuming at they probably have croissants. I love I chocolate imagine. croissants. Yeah. Well, that's my go to vacation breakfast. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of the starlights. Well, that's pretty good one, too, over here. They have another little bar doing a bar. Oh, yeah. This resort is so big. We're going to take a walk tomorrow and see what all, all, all else is out here. Oh, they do. I think I have mine somewhere. So this is cafe. This is Rick's. We came and ate here on the very first night they reopened. It's just a sports bar, but it was very good. Yeah. Very good food. And then. There's Maya Grill up ahead, which we had that night that awesome a couple too. weeks ago. That was really good. And here we are at the Mercado. So this is a lot of grab and go, but they have some good stuff. We had um, our lunch in bed from here. So we made it back into our room here. This is going to be the uh, <laughs> nighttime snack, and Paige had a wonderful quote. Said, um, "We have food tonight that." looks like makes us look like people who don't have teeth or we're eating like people who don't have teeth we've got we have a yogurt parfait we each have a yogurt parfait a s'mores, s'mores brownie, brownie water well chips i guess you need teeth for chips and then but. yogurt parfait yeah this looks good and then we got some sweet potato chips so this came from the um mercado mercado I just want to yogurt parfait's in bed tonight yep that's perfect not starving Hungry a little bit. And then in the room, they have this channel devoted for Disney Vacation Club. <laughs> Stay magical you, year after year for only 28,000 to start, I think. 